Hey, do you like anyone, Hayato? Huh? Hayato? What's going on? You've always called me Takahashi-kun. It's okay, isn't it? Our after-school chores are finally over for the week, and it's just the two of us in the classroom now. So, do you like anyone? D no, I, I I don't like anyone right now. Will you go out with me then? What you talking about? Stop teasing me! I'm not teasing you. I'm being serious. I'm Hayato Takahashi, a very simple high school senior. The girl who strangely seems to be interested in me is Reika Hayase, the most beautiful girl in school. I was, of course, secretly in love with her, just like all the other boys in school were. But... I'm serious! But there's no way you're being serious. You're the most popular girl in school. We're not compatible, are we? I'm going home. What? I didn't take a reproach seriously. Today, after school, Reika and I had just finished our chores. Listen, another boy in my class asked me out again. Again? That's amazing. I'm not happy about it at all. All the boys have ulterior motives. They're all jerks. It's like they're competing with each other to see who can go out with me first. Do you think so? She's only telling me this to relieve her stress, right? Reika would complain to me every day like that. Probably because I'm a harmless, unassuming guy. That's one of the reasons I didn't take her seriously when she asked me out the day before. Reika was quiet and reserved in front of other boys, but she always showed me her true personality. It felt like she was disrespecting me, and to be honest, it didn't make me feel very good. Dang it! I feel like her teddy bear! Hey, Hayato, are you listening to me? Uh, of course I'm listening. You said you don't want a boyfriend, right? Not at all. I want a boyfriend. There's even a guy I like. I asked you out, remember? I told you already that it felt like you were lying to me. Then how can I get you to believe me? Your attitude towards me is different from how you act towards other guys. I can't trust you. That's not true. I'm going home. Wait. I have a question for you. What is it? In a certain place, there's a girl who's in love with a stupid and insensitive high school student. She wants him to be interested in her, so she exposes her feelings to him and tries to appeal to him every day, but he never notices her. What should she do? I... I don't know. I mean, it's not like we live in an anime. No one is that insensitive in real life. Poo-hoo, wrong answer. I know someone exactly like that. When you said she exposed her feelings to the person she likes, is that something girls do? Do I need to explain such basic things? Maybe I should take my time closing the distance between us instead of doing it in a hurry. Hey, what you thinking? Reika didn't answer me for some reason. The next day. Good morning, sis. Hayato, it's already noon. It's your day off. You shouldn't be lazing around the house. Don't you have any plans? No. If you're free, you can come with me for my checkup. I also want to go shopping on the way home so you can carry my bags. Okay, I'll go get ready. My married sister, Misa, is 21 years old, three years older than me. She was back at my parents' house while she expects the birth of her kid. I'm so glad the baby is healthy. Will you help me take care of it when it's born? Of course I will. I love kids. There's no way. Hayato, were you lying to me when you said there was no one you liked? You're married! You look so happy about the birth of that baby! What should I do? I like him too. I can't just give up on him. I'm sorry, God. I might make him commit adultery. Forgive me! The next Monday. Wait! Huh? What's wrong? Do you have any free time today? Do you want to go on a date with me? A date? With me? Is it possible that you just want to talk to me like I'm your teddy bear again? Hmm? What do you mean? Or are you playing some kind of punishment game? No, I genuinely want to go on a date with you. Uh, this is very suspicious, but her gaze is very serious. Could it be that she really likes me? 
I definitely have a secret crush on her, just like all the other guys do. So I might as well experience what a date with her would be like. Okay. I'll probably never forget how happy she looked when I said yes. Uh, Reika, you're kinda close. Why are you sitting next to me instead of in front of me? Cause we're on a date, of course. I wanna sit next to you. Is it normal? I've never been on a date before. Why did you suddenly ask me out? Actually, I wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask? Let's start by asking what kind of girl you like. Hairstyle, height, and... And then tell me about what personality traits you like. Why? Why are you asking so many questions? Just tell me. Well, I like long hair. Someone a little shorter than me. Someone with a cute personality who will only show her true self to me. Oh, shoot! I just mentioned all of Reika's character traits in the heat of the moment! I really like her, but... I'm getting nervous. I need to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Thanks. That was helpful. I... I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's such an idiot! He just described me! I'm so embarrassed. But that means I still have a chance, right? I need to get serious. For some reason, when I returned to my seat, Reika was sitting even closer to me than she was before. You've got some of your Frappuccino cream on your face. S stop it! It's embarrassing! Don't move! Reika, why are you acting weird today? I'm not. By the way, do you like kids? Kids? What's wrong with you? It doesn't matter. Just tell me. Well, I like them, but... I see. I love kids, too. Enough to love them even when they're not related to me. So that should give you peace of mind. What? What do you mean by peace of mind? Uh, it means exactly what you think it means. Hey, there's somewhere I need to go. Will you come with me? Reika kept asking me questions that didn't make sense. I continued to wonder what the onslaught was all about, but I was happy to be on a date with the girl of my dreams. I decided I'd go wherever she wanted to go. Reika, isn't this a famous spot where couples take selfies together? Yeah, it is. Since it's our first date, I was thinking of taking a photo together as a souvenir. Okay, but are you sure it's okay that I'm in a photo with you? It's okay, it's okay. Come on, come closer. Put your arm around my waist. But like this? Wow, her waist is so thin. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. Cheese! I took a photo with the girl I liked for the first time in my life. Can I ask you one last favor? What is it? It's my birthday next Saturday. Would you celebrate it with me? I'd like to celebrate it with you at your house if possible. Why at my house? Shouldn't you spend more time with your family and the people you care about? I prefer you. If you insist that much, then it's fine with me. Great! We'll have a lovely date next Saturday then. Yeah. I thought it was impossible for her to want to celebrate her birthday with me. But now that we'd gotten that far... I was starting to become convinced that Reika was serious when she asked me out that day. I still wasn't sure, but that night... Sis, shut up! What's wrong? The girl I went on my first date with wants to spend her birthday with me! What does that mean? Are you crazy? You know exactly what it means. But it's me. I don't even understand how we suddenly became friends. Hmm... You mean you think it's part of a punishment game? Uh, I used to, but I don't think that anymore. As for her birthday present, I need to give her at least a thousand dollars, right? I'll have to sell all my games and manga to raise money. Ow! Are you out of your mind? Calm down, you idiot. Okay. Don't think about it so much. Just take your shot. If you love her, be honest and ask her out. Get it? Okay, I'll do my best. On the day of Reika's birthday. Sorry to bother you. Welcome.
Welcome, Reika. You're looking kind of sick. Are you okay? You're Hayato's wife. I'm truly sorry for everything I've done. Huh? Excuse me? My wife? I know it was wrong to do what I did, but I like Hayato and I won't give up on him. That's why I came here today. I'll take whatever punishment you're going to give me. Just please let me have Hayato. Huh? Do you think I'm Hayato's wife? Just so you know, I'm his sister. What? I thought since you came out of the OBGYN together... Did you see us there? I guess it might have been a confusing sight. I'm only three years older than him and I have a baby face, so I guess it's not surprising you mistook me for being his wife. I may look this way, but I'm just his older sister. You two can work this out on your own. I'll get out of your way. My sister walked into the house laughing. Reika? Wait, don't say anything. I'm dying of embarrassment, but I'm just glad it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm sorry too, but I had no idea you misunderstood that I was married. Besides, I couldn't believe that you liked me. You're so stupid and sensitive. All I've done is try to appeal to you. You should have noticed that. It's just that you're always so quiet and composed around other guys, and then around me, you spend all your time complaining. It felt like you were disrespecting me. Oh no, that's not true. To be honest, at first, I had the impression that you were just a boring guy, but you've always been so easy to talk to. I feel like the air flows slowly around you. When I'm with you, I feel relaxed. Other guys treat me like some kind of princess, but no part of me wants to flirt with them. That's why I became interested in you. And then before I realized it, I'd fallen in love with you. I didn't know you thought of me in that kind of way. How come? I was thinking that if you complain to me all the time, you must think of me like a teddy bear with mercy as wide as the earth. You complain and I listen. So it's like I'm playing the role of your teddy bear. That's because I just let myself go and tell you everything. I didn't have any bad intentions. The truth is, I thought you were cute for showing me your true personality, but I gave up, because I thought a simple guy like me couldn't possibly go out with a nice girl like you. Don't give up. I want to go out with you. I even apologized to God that I was going to make you have an affair with me. I made up my mind to raise your kid with you. Please go out with me. Sure. I finally got through to you. Thank you for liking me in that way. I asked her to come up to my room, and we celebrated her birthday together. Um, about my birthday. I'm sorry, but it's not really my birthday today. Hmm? I lied because I wanted to come to your house to ask your wife to give you up to me. <laughs> I see. I prepared a present for you for your birthday. Will you still accept it? I didn't know what to give you. This was all I could think of. Thank you, Hayato. A cute handkerchief. I wanted to get you a nicer one, but... I'm so happy. I'll keep this handkerchief as a memento of our relationship. I'd rather have another present from you, darling. Huh? I only have this present for you at the moment. I'm gonna spoil you. What? Mm. I guess I've got no choice. I want to cherish Rika for the rest of my life. <laughs>